This is Spoken by Ellsworth, a Femdom Hypnosis podcast. Be sure to like and subscribe. Plus, visit my website for sessions too intense to be included here. Visit my Patreon to collect your free codes for sessions. I have one thing I want to say before I go any further. I was planning a session for this week that was about creating another persona called a tulpa and talking about how you can communicate with that persona and consider their actions and eventually use that alternate persona to engage in kink. Then, (laughs) well then the desire to lock a bunch of guys in chastity, it took a hold of me and I ended up creating a fun multi-part hypno session and two podcasts about that instead. So this is the first of those podcasts, and the next one will appear next week. Now, can you imagine why there's a delay planned in there? Why on earth would there be a delay planned between two podcasts that have something to do with chastity. Come on, you're a clever one. It's because the next session is about release from this chastity sentence that I'm giving you. That session, which explores persona creation, it will show up later this month, I promise. It's sitting there ready and waiting. And there will be one or two other fun things that pop up in the shop, on the website and such. I promise to tell you about them as they happen. Be sure that you are signed up over on Patreon. That's where I like to slip in my little sneak peek announcements. Now, hypnosis is not magic. I'm not going to try and tell you that if you listen to this session, you will be entirely unable to entertain yourself until I give you your freedom. Uh, That's pretty ridiculous. (laughs) In fact, after the session next week, I'll be hoping to hear from you about your experiences in that regard. But what I will be doing is giving you all the tools you need to resist temptation. To make staying locked up the easy choice. And to make cheating seem like a terrible, horrible, awful idea. I think that will be enough to tide you over. Now, obviously, I'll be freely sharing the solution to your predicament with you next week. But I am selling you the key early if you need it. And there's more. If you purchase these two sessions in my shop on the SpokenByElswith.com website, There's also five additional hypnosis sessions that you can listen to, one each day. And there's a pretty nice mix of teasing, encouragement, and smut for you to enjoy. And this is all set up so that you can enjoy the incarceration session, then roll dice each day to decide if you escape or get tormented by me. So once you've enjoyed this experience once, there's another way you can play the game. But forget all of that for right now. I promise that this session, plus the one coming in a week's time, 
give a full experience. So even if you only do these two sessions on the podcast, you're going to get quite a bit out of it. But if you want more, if you want something fresh and new every day, go to the website to find that. I know that you will feel the effects of my hypnotic control between these two sessions, that you will leave the second session happy and hungry for what comes next. Can you figure out what that means? My polite language, it isn't too tricky for you, is it, dear? I think it's time to begin. This is the introductory session of the 7-Day Chastity Program, spoken by Ellsworth. You are going on a journey, and I'll tell you now that you absolutely want this little expedition to go well, because as we travel, we're going to further test my hypnotic control over you. Not just that, but I am going to help you be a good boy an obedient boy, a patient pet. You know, there are countless roles I could have you inhabit, and all of them are good, right? So let me tell you exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to help you go into a state of hypnotic trance. Once you're there, I'm going to remind you what a good boy you are. I'm going to remind you why you want to be such a good boy. And then, I'm going to tell you how you can be a good boy for me for the next week. But... Just in case you want to back out, I'm going to warn you. My goal is to prevent you from reaching orgasm for a week. I'll give you all the tools you need to do this. I'll give you encouragement, the firm hand of control, and the promise that relief is coming. So take your time to think about it a moment. Are you committed to this journey? Are you ready? Are you comfortable? You should be reclined or laying down somewhere. If you have a usual spot, For finding a state of relaxation and trance, you should be there now. Are you dressed comfortably? Are your eyes closed? Is your breathing slow and considered? We are going for a walk, and it's important to pace yourself. I'm going to ask you to take a deep breath in through your nose over four seconds. Then I'm going to ask you to breathe out through your mouth over seven seconds. You will notice that there are two sounds playing in the background that mark the beginning of these breaths in and out. And whenever you want to find your rhythm again, you will be able to follow them. Now, if you feel like you are out of sync, don't panic. 
If you're too quick or too slow, then you will fall back into the rhythm regularly. Like two interlocked watch gears of different sizes. Or like Bonham and Page when they play cashmere. If you're ahead or behind, that's okay too. Like two long distance lovers with an ocean between them, sleeping as the other wakes. Or like Selway and Greenwood when they play videotape. So, in and out through the mouth. Good. Breathe in, breathe out. It's important to keep this up while you're rambling through the hillsides. Aside from taking proper breaks, taking in that fresh air in the proper fashion is important. I'm no sports scientist, but your muscles need oxygen to work most efficiently. And you're going for a very long walk for me until you reach the peak. Speaking of peaks, see if you can't see that peak in the distance. It wouldn't be wise to try and climb this whole peak in one sprint. It's going to be slow going. So choose a more manageable goal. Perhaps there's a large rock ahead. Perhaps a fence cuts across your path with a kissing gate you want to pass through. As you think about what your goal for this stretch of your walk is going to be, every part of the scene ahead of you might well become more detailed. But if all you picture is an upwards facing triangle in the distance, that's okay. I know that you know that the mountain is there ahead of you. A grand but achievable goal. You know where you are going. You are going on a journey for me and in the distance is the peak that you've been walking towards. It could be that you're almost at that peak. It could be that this time you will reach the summit or be within spitting distance of it. For now, choose a spot where you can see in the near distance and know that your goal for this stretch of your walk is just going to be to make it to that spot. That's where you know that a deep sense of accomplishment and a desire to rest and relax is going to wash over you. I am going to count down from five to zero. As each of these numbers passes you by, you will get closer to the point you're aiming for. When I reach zero, you will reach that goal. And as each of these numbers is spoken, start 
starting with five and going down to zero. You will settle more into the rhythm of walking, climbing at this perfect rhythm. It becomes easier to keep going even as you get more and more tired from exertion. You know that when you reach your goal, you can rest and that you will feel that perfect exhaustion at the perfect time. Five, as you walk, you can hear a nearby stream trickling. You're sure that the water is crystal clear and cool. You can imagine how it might feel to dip your fingers down into the water. You haven't walked so long that your feet are aching, but if you had been walking for hours at this steady, manageable pace, It would feel so good to walk through the water right now. Four, you know the path that's laid out ahead of you. You know that it's been walked many times before, but you also know that you are the only one walking it right now. This is a good and comforting thought. You are alone and can be at peace. You can know that all you have to do is take one step at a time and get closer, closer to your destination, this relaxing state of trance that you're seeking. There's a calm breeze slightly blowing. If you focus on this breeze, you can notice that it's blowing from behind you. And it's easy to imagine that it's urging you onwards. You can see the grasses, the odd flowering plant, perhaps heathers. The occasional solitary tree leans forward with you. You want to keep walking. Keep climbing upwards to the point you've picked in the distance. Keep going. Two. You know that the sense of accomplishment and the state of trance state of relaxation that you're marching towards is so close now. Focus on your breathing. Know that it is helping you. Know that the oxygen you're taking with each breath in is feeding the muscles in your legs, letting them keep steadily approaching the state of trance that you desire. One, and each breath out, the air you breathe out is whipped away in front of you by this gentle breeze. You're getting so close now. You're doing such a good job. You've walked so far and a perfect spot to rest is just ahead. Zero. Good. I'm so proud of you. You've made it to the perfect place, the destination you picked for yourself, and the hypnotic trance that you've wanted is your perfect reward. Now that you're here, You can keep breathing steadily. You can reflect on how far you've come. 
you can think about the rest of the journey that's in front of you. Perhaps it's close to finished and the most rewarding part of the journey is here. Now that you're here in this perfect state of relaxation, it's time for me to tell you what my expectations of you are. I want to keep you in chastity. This might be for just a day. It might be for a week. It might go on a little longer. You will have all the tools you need to do this simple thing for me. Not just that, but we might just have a little fun with it. At your expense, of course. When the time comes, I will grant you your release. You will have earned it. I told you that this time together is a journey. You may find that this journey comes to an unexpected end. And part of the reason that I'm giving you this experience is that I desperately want to see how well you can do for me. How well the tools I'm going to give you work. And I know that you're going to be excited to tell me no matter what happens. This is a journey. It's an experiment. It's also a game. The most important rule of that game is no release, as in climax, until after I have given you release, as in your freedom. This is a nice and easy rule to understand and an exciting one to follow, don't you think? I've already asked you to be clear about your intentions once. But now that we're deep, now that you're truly relaxed into this, say it again. Won't it be nice, dear, to go on the rest of this journey for me? Answer me, silently, quietly, under your breath, out loud. However you answer me, think about the proper answer. Won't it be nice, dear, to go on the rest of this journey for me? your answer. So now that you're here, that you've reached your goal for today, let me tell you what comes next. For some time after today, you are going to avoid release for me. There might be a specific tool that comes to mind when you think of this. I'm not going to be talking about that right now. But you know what I'm talking about. If it's part of your experience, then you should already be wearing it. And if that tool, the cage, if you're making use of it, that's good. I encourage it. I think it's good if you do, because you clearly want it. Wanting it, that's going to be a huge part of what drives you to the end of this journey. So once again, speak your intentions in this regard. 
Tell me that you're going to use the cage or that you're not. And then tell me that you're going to be so, so good either way. Okay, so now we've gotten over the small stuff, the tight and restrictive stuff. Let's get down to more practical matters. We've talked about how you want this, and now I'm going to tell you how badly I want this. I have been a mistress for most of my adult activities life and I've encountered so very many men who adore the idea of chastity. The truth is I'm a bit lukewarm on it. It's not my favorite thing. It makes some of my real favorites difficult or impossible. I think it's best in short sprints. Times when I can focus on whoever I've got locked up, on their mood and their arousal. Times when I can allow for teasing, for encouragement, for using you for my own entertainment and pleasure. And eventually, when that release comes, it's likely going to be at the perfect time when you've experienced all there is to experience from this game. But before you become complacent, and before I become bored. So that's what's going to happen. I've got a number of things I'm excited to do with, for, to you. And throughout those experiences, there's going to be one constant. You are not going to get relief. This might make you feel desperate. It might make you feel grumbly, or pouty, or even mad. But the absolute truth is, you're not going to cheat. You're not going to break the game, because you know how unsatisfying that resolution would be. You know how it will feel to have to tell me that you're sorry, that you're a failure, that you know how that post-orgasm bliss will be replaced with abject shame, not that warmth of humiliation that's the realization of a fantasy come true, of someone like me knowing your darkest secrets and twisting them into something pleasurable. No, I'm talking about shame, real shame, the shame of being caught doing something disgusting, the shame of having your base instincts laid bare. You know what that feeling is. You know when you've experienced it. I'm not going to force you to confront it right now because I don't need that sensation. You don't wish to feel it. You aren't going to experience it. You are going to be good. You are going to play our game. Enjoy your whole journey and earn your perfect release. The climax. The summit. Without cheating. Instead of a promise of punishment for cheating, let me tell you what is going to keep you on your path. You are looking forward to this. It's rewarding. It's enjoyable. This is the first tool I'm giving you. Until I give you your release, your freedom. You will find that your desire to seek that physical sexual pleasure is greatly reduced. You are content. You're happy to be playing this game. And the very nature of it, 
as time wheels on is a pleasurable one. Once you awaken from this state of trance that you find yourself in, you will find that thoughts of masturbation turn to thoughts of amusement. The idea of self-pleasure is almost a funny idea because you are happy exactly as you are and elated to be doing exactly as you are doing. And once you are out of trance, if you catch yourself thinking about release, you will immediately move on to other completely unrelated thoughts. This tool of positivity, it will be available to you until I give you your freedom. The second tool, Mistress Wants This. There are three tools that I am giving you to take with you on your journey and to make use of as often as you need them. The second is, I want this. Me, Ellsworth, mistress, owner, goddess. You know exactly who is enforcing their control, their will over you. It doesn't matter in the slightest what name you hold for me in your head as your journey continues. Because once I wake you from trance, you are going to know that I want this. You're going to take some step to let me know about the journey that you're on. And the moment that I receive that missive, it's going to put a smile on my face. Once you wake from trance, you are going to find a way to make me smile. You are going to carry with you the knowledge that you are making me happy. And once you wake from this state of hypnosis, you will be aware that only one conclusion to this journey will keep me smiling. I want you to succeed. So once you are out of trance, anytime you need to, you will be able to remind yourself of the pleasure that I take in this journey. It won't matter if you're pawing at yourself, trying to end the game as quickly as possible. You will be able to remind yourself that I want your journey to reach its intended end. And you will be able to stop. You will be able to hear me say marshmallow. And you will be able to feel happy and fulfilled and invigorated. And once again, begin walking for me. This tool of togetherness, it will be available to you until I give you your freedom. The last tool available to you is a promise for the future. Just as I'm eager to hear that you are beginning your journey, just as I'm looking forward to hearing about the occasional peak of valley you will traverse. I know how wonderful the end of this journey is going to be. I think you're going to be excited to tell me about it. And it's only going to make me smile again. Once you're lifted out of the state of trance you are in, once you are back to fully awake for me, you will know that you are on a journey. And you know that this journey is just that. It's not toil. It's not endless, meaningless exploration. You have a goal in mind, and you have no doubt in mind what that goal is. 
Once you are lifted out of hypnotic trance by my words, I promise you that you won't want to end your journey early. You are very excited to see the view from the summit, my dear. You want to do this for me, for yourself. You are good. You are patient. And you are going to make it. Because you are aware that once you reach the end of your journey, you're going to be able to look back along the path you've taken. You're going to swell with pride in yourself. You're going to experience all the little peaks and valleys again. And you are going to be so very good for me. As good or better than you've ever remembered feeling before. This tool of foresight it will be available to you until I give you your freedom. Now that this time for togetherness is done, it's time to take the next step in your journey. This might be going about your day, or it might be falling into a deep and restorative sleep. I am going to count back up to five, just like your little walk that you certainly remember, but in reverse. Zero, one. You can breathe in any way that seems right, and you can feel the state of trance already starting to lift. Two, three, you are satisfied with everything that has happened here, and you know that it is close to the time that you must awaken. Four, five, fully awake for me now, and ready for whatever is next. Good. Well done. Before I send you on your way, and especially if you're a coffee drinker, let me ask you something. I've been gifted this fabulous, absolutely fabulous new coffee machine for my Amazon wish list, and these lovely La Crusette mugs. And last month, the perfect way to make a cold brew. Now I'm trying to take in a touch less caffeine. Not out of any moral or amazing reasons, but mostly because I know I can go through quite a bit of coffee in a day, so I like to be able to do so without end- ending up feeling jittery or as if I should, oh my goodness, fire the maid and clean the house myself, right? So, does anybody want to weigh in on a low caffeine coffee option? Not always decaf, although I have started adding that in here and there to balance out those stronger brews. But just low caffeine, I think, would be fine. I'm still a writer. I do need my fix. But I know that a few of you are going to have some big opinions and Imagine that with a capital B and a capital O on the matter, and I want to hear from you. And in a similar vein, longtime listener B also gifted me some credit at IKEA, and that came right after the most recent Sissy Maid session. 
Any guesses why B is feeling so thankful and grateful? If you can think of a coffee gadget from Ikea you just can't live without, you can share that with me as well. Do not give me furniture suggestions. And finally, if you've been trying to find the right words to say to me, to reach out to me for the first time, why don't you share with me your typical coffee order? Are you the one that you can just walk into your local cafe and they already know what to make? I do enjoy that as a simple pleasure in life. 